Over the years, King Mephitrion became more and more obsessed with power. He continued to satisfy his personal desires through warfare. The people were suffering. In Mephitrion's mind there was no end to war. Even if his heart stopped beating, the smoke in the fire will continue to rage. The queen saw the suffering caused by war in her eyes. To protect the people, she came before the statue of Hera. She asked the goddess to lead them away from the suffering. Hera was moved by the queen's devotion. She came down to earth and possessed her maid. She said that the gods could not intervene on earth, but she could ask for the seed of Zeus for the queen, to bring forth a half-god, half-human child, to change the corrupt world of man. As oh, on the night of Mphytrion's triumphal celebration again, the queen, utterly disappointed, accepted a gift from Zeus, a child named Hercules by the gods. On the day of the queen's birth, Mphytrion waited impatiently outside her chambers with a cold face. Hearing that it was a boy, he just gave a random name, Arthur, and said that the child would never be as honored as the prince. But the queen didn't care, and neither did Arthur when he grew up. At the age of 20, Arthur is handsome and physically strong. He fell in love at first sight with Heap, a neighboring princess.